Hello there. We're delighted to welcome you on board Virgin Atlantic. Thank you for flying with us today. You're no doubt keen to lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment, but first we're going to show you a safety film, and we'd like you to give it your full attention. It's really important that you watch and understand it, because together we're all responsible for safety on this flight. It helps explain the safety equipment and procedures of this particular aircraft and gives you an idea of what to do in an emergency. If you have any questions after watching it, ask one of them as we check the captain's brief. The aisles and exits need to be kept clear. So, if there is anything you haven't put in the overhead lockers, Put them under the seat in front of you, now. It's really important that your seatbelt is securely fastened. If it isn't, push the two ends together until they click. Then tighten it by pulling the strap, like this. If there's an airbag attached, make sure it's not twisted. You can open your seatbelt, like this. If oxygen masks drop, keep your seatbelt on and pull the tag or the mask down to turn on the oxygen. The bath might not inflate, but oxygen will be flowing. Put the mask over your mouth and nose and adjust the straps around your head to make sure it fits. Fit your mask first before helping anyone else with theirs. You absolutely can't smoke anywhere on this flight. And that means anywhere, not even the toilets. It's just not safe. The same goes for these electronic and smokeless cigarettes. We all have a lot of electronic devices. Please make sure they're switched to flight safe or airplane mode now. Okay. For more details on using your devices on the flight, please take a look at your safety card. If we land on water, take your life jacket from under or next to your seat. Pull the tab to release it, tear open the bag and take the jacket out. Slip it over your head, pass the straps around your waist and tie in a double bow at your side. Only inflate it when you're outside so it doesn't restrict your escape. Pull the red tab hard or blow into the tube to inflate. There's a light and a whistle to attract attention. Cabin crew will hand out smaller life jackets for children. To help reduce injury in an emergency landing, fasten your seatbelt tight. Put both feet together, firmly on the floor, slightly under your seat. Place one hand over the other on the back of your head. Bend forward, elbows outside your knees. Rest your head on the seat in front of you can. If you have a child on your lap, place one hand on your head, lean over your child and place one hand on their head. Lights will guide you to the exits in an emergency. And there are signs above the doors. The cabin crew will point out the exits now. Please remember where your nearest exit is. It might be right there, behind you. If you need to open a door, move the big handle in the direction of the arrow. As the door opens, a slide will inflate. If it doesn't, then just pull the red handle. Leave everything behind you and take off anything that could damage the slide. Jump on the slide and when you get to the end, move away quickly. Most slides can also be used as rafts. 
Okay, we're mm. nearly ready to go. Please now make sure your seatbelt's fastened low and tight, your seat's upright, the arm rests down, and your foot rest is tucked away. If your screen isn't in the back of the seat in front of you, return it to its home now. There's a safety card in your seat pocket. Have a good look through to remind you of what you've seen and for information about this particular aircraft. Please always pay attention to the signs and the crew. They're there to keep you safe. So if you have any questions, just ask. Now sit back and enjoy your flight. And thanks for watching.